Hi guys, so in this video we will understand what is the difference between iList and List in C Sharp. Now one of my subscribers has messaged me that please explain the difference between iList and List in C Sharp because this was asked to him in the interviews and I guess this is a very interesting interview question also that what's the difference between why do we need to use iList and List in C Sharp, right? So let's quickly jump onto our slides first and let's see that what's the difference between an iList and List in theory and then we will jump to our practicals, okay? So to understand the difference between list and iList, you need to understand the difference between classes and interfaces. Now this is a very important point. iList is an interface uh, in C Sharp and list is a class, a specialized concrete class which is implemented in C Sharp, right? A interface, as you know, is a half implemented class. That means it just has the methods which are not implemented and a class provides the complete implementation to the interface methods, right? Before we jump into uh, our very next point, let's go to the Visual Studio and let's create a list. Okay. So here we have a class, program class, and we have a main method. So let's create a list first and let's see that how do we implement, what's the difference between our list and my list with the help of implementation. So let's uh, create a list and I will name it as my list equals new. So we have created a list and let me add some elements to this list so i will say just say list dot add and let me add a new string i will uh, write a name here say john so this is this element is added to my list and similarly i can copy this and add three more so in this i will make this as uh, watson I will make this as Steve. I will make this as Virat. Okay. So here I have a list which has these four members, and now I just need to create. Uh, I will just create two methods to display all these methods. Now all these members. Okay. So what I will do is I will just create a new method called as generic. So I will just create it here. I will copy it here. I will call this method from here. So I will just say display, right? Or you can say that just display. So this is my name of the method, and what it will take, it will take my list. Okay. So I have not created this method yet. So let me create this method. So this is my method here, which takes a parameter of list. Okay. So I will just uh, implement this thing. I will just say a for each loop. So this is my for each loop i will pass my my list to this collection and what i will do here is i will just say console dot write line the list elements are as follows okay what i will do is i will just append this item now what I will do, I will just copy this method here. I will just create another method which will take my i list into it. Okay. So I will just say generic display. So this is my second method which also take this list also and uh, I will just create this method here. So this is the method which is uh, created here. So I will just remove this. I will copy this thing here. Okay, and the I will just say here I list elements are as follows. Okay, so this is the only difference between these two methods, and I also forgot to do this. So this uh, generic display accepts a I list, and this display accepts a list. Now you can see that this method accepts a interface. That means it accepts a generalized form of list, right? And this accepts a very specialized form of list so if you see the difference between interface and a class so uh, a class uh, an interface is a half implemented class you can say or you can say it has some abstract methods into it so this is the same concept here this is the half implemented uh, interface which is accepted by this generic display what is uh, what do we mean by this is i can pass any any class which implements this iList interface. So what I will do is I will just write it here. 
it can accept any class which implements ilist so this is the point which i wanted to explain you okay so this is a generic uh, generic uh, way of writing the method and this is the specialized way of writing the method okay so this accepts list and this accepts ilist now if you see this this list class if i say go to definition of this class okay so i will say go to definition so this list class implements ilist uh, interface okay now if we go to the definition of this ilist then this ilist implements i collection okay so let's go back to my program class and let's try to play a bit with my code so let's first try to run this and see what uh, what's the output okay so i will just put a console.read line here so that you can see the output okay and let's try to run this now so let's run this and you can see the list elements are as follows john watson steven virat so the first method was for list so first the display method is called and then the generic display method is called which says the i list elements are john watson steve uh, and virat both are working in the same way right now if we if say suppose i change this to i list okay now if you see this now this object here is the uh, this this is here uh, this list is of type i list now okay now if you see this display is not accepting the specialized uh, specialized class of the uh, i list interface okay because the type of my list has become now i list okay now if you don't understand that uh, how this type has changed because this is pointing to the list itself the uh, the class on the the class of the interface on the left side is the type okay so the moment we have done this this type has changed to i list this display fails to take it right now if i make it this list so then this error should go away because this is except expecting this list but there's no change in this generic display method because this is programmed to accept anything which implements the i list so let's do one thing let's uh, copy this method here and let's paste a another method which is which let's call as more generic method okay so this is a more generic display here it's not present obviously so let me make that okay now what we will do is i will just make it accept i collection okay now what is i collection i collection is the more superior class than i list okay so let me change this back to a list okay. and let me copy the for each loop and i will just say here and this is the this is the implementation for i collection now if you see this i am passing my list so this is accept, expected is here also this is accepted here also and this is accepted here also the moment i change it to i list okay so this won't be accepted in this display but the more generic display is accepting this because it can accept i list also it can accept list also so i hope you understood the concept so if i make this as i collection okay so then the generic display will also not accept it because i am passing a parent class or parent interface to this thing Right? this won't accept it okay so let me make it back to list and let's try to run the application now let's see if that's working it should give me the three outputs right now now if you see this yes it's working as uh, perfectly like john watson steven virat for i collection also okay so let's jump to our slides now now if you see this uh, i list is an interface and list is a concrete class that's we have already seen we always have to code in terms of interfaces so that whenever our type or classes changes in future we can fit any type which implements the mentioned interface At this point we have already seen our method which expected uh, which accepted i list and i collection that was able to take the list type uh, very easily okay so now list is a concrete implementation of the i list interface that we have already seen now the fifth point which is the last point which is very important is however if we use list class then we can leverage many methods which are present specifically in the list class this is also very important point in terms of your answer to the interviewer okay so let's go back to my visual studio 
and let me find the method which takes a list okay so this uh, my list is a type of my list so let's this display function takes my list and let's try to implement a method which is specific to this list okay okay and there's a method called a sort which sorts the list okay to write the same method with i collection and i list okay now if you see this this method takes a i list uh, parameter okay this my list here is a type of i list so if i try to write the same method here it won't find it that's because i list does not contain a sort method sort method is contained by the more specialized class called as list similarly if i copy the same thing for i collection this won't be available here right so this is uh, one of the more this uh, this can make your choice more clearer that whichever which collection you want to use either you want to use i collection if you want to use i list or you want to use a concrete list similarly i have another method here i guess uh, that's called as rim access so let me say check that yes we have this method here for the list and similarly we don't have that method for the i list okay now you see this there is no method called as rim access in i list and similarly we don't have that in i collection too so let's move back to slides and these are the points here that we have already discussed so the last point mentions that if you want to use uh, certain methods then you use the concrete implementation and that makes your uh, choice more easier so if you want a specific methods in your class then you use the concrete implementation if you want to use a, a generic method so that uh, you can plug and play many classes with those methods so that uh, you use the generalized i list or interfaces okay i hope this clears the point so thank you so much guys for listening to this video if you have any doubt please leave a comment below and please do subscribe to my channel thank you so very much and please be healthy thanks